Man, oh man, oh man, Stellar Blade is getting high praise for its demo, but they are trying to bash this game in a lot of drama. Join us for Stellar Blade Drama Addressed, my rant. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K of Geeks, Hard Knock Digital Culture, Cloud Dosage, and MM2K Gaming, back with another rant. Before we get into this one, do us a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when we're dropping these doses. We appreciate y'all straight up. And do us a huge favor. Do not, I mean, do not hit that notification and just go away. Hit that notification, check that drop down list, and make sure it says all. It doesn't say personal. Because when it says personal, YouTube's goofy algorithm gets to pick and choose for you which videos from this platform you get to see. And trust me, you don't want you don't want that. All right. So with that said, let's get into today's video. Uh, today's video is, is titled My Rant Stellar Blades Controversy Addressed. Um, so I've, I've gotten a chance to play the Stellar Blade demo. Um, for full disclosure, I am completely enthralled just with the little bit of time that I spent with the demo. Um, and I really think that this has the potential of being a blockbuster game for 2024. With that being said, it, it, it's been somewhat of a bumpy road for the game. Um, and in this video, I want to take the time to address two controversies that are happening with the game with no notes. So bear with me. <laughs> this is straight, strictly off the cuff. Um, but controversy one is um, with this uh, extra latency that's in the game. And controversy two is with the um, the derriere, might I say, of the, the main uh, character and the other females in the game. So first, let's start with this extra latency in the game. And, and, and to address this, I want to refer to this story from Twisted Voxel. Um, and it says Stellar Blade suffers from high input lag. Developer recommends enabling game mode on TVs. Um, the story continues. Sony Interactive uh, Entertainment and Shift Up's upcoming action adventure game Stellar Blade suffers from a high amount of input lag. Using a high speed camera, YouTuber Murder Me Gusta performed an input lag test and recently released Stellar Blade demo to measure the delay between control input and the action being on screen. Based on their findings, the game suffers from 13.8 frames or 230 milliseconds of latency and performance, which is very high for a game that runs at 60 frames per second. They didn't factor um, the inherent input delay on the display into the equation, however, which should be subtracted from the total in order to determine the actual game latency. Um, meanwhile, developers shift up address the issue um, on the official Stellar Blade Twitter X account. As per the recommendation, those who find controls to be slow to respond should enable game mode on their displays. They added that doing so will make the response more immediate. Digital Foundry's Alexander Battaglia noted that Unreal Engine has a curious, a curious history of high input latency on the PlayStation consoles for no good reason. He mentioned that a delay of 230 milliseconds would be particularly poor. And even in even for a game that runs at 30 frames per second, as per him, it's on the development team at shift up to address this issue. Yeah. In this regards, I agree. Um, when I played the demo, I liked what I was playing, but I noticed that in me trying to do things like the perfect dodge and stuff like that, 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 that my timing was off. And I'm going to leave a link to my uh, demo first look here. I played a little bit on Twitch. Um, but yeah, I, I noticed that in trying to play the game that I felt like my timing was off. So I really didn't do much in the demo. I was like, oh man, uh, let me try to um, play a little bit more and, and get used to the timing here because it's a timing issue. Um, and come to find out, yeah, there's this extra latency, which I don't understand why it's even in there in the game. This is not good for the overall, you know, look from 5,000 feet of your game. That being said, um, I don't think it's going to damage it too much. Having to put your your, your monitor in game mode, uh, I think, is a ridiculous response. Like, it just needs to be. I mean, you could say, you know what? We're aware of the issue. We're working on it. 
we recommend putting it in game mode for the time being until we address the issue and we of course it'll be addressed in the, in the retail version yeah i i think um shift up is going to have to be a little bit more transparent in in in, in owning uh this fupa and getting it fixed because you don't want anything to take away the polish from what could be a very pristine title like i was telling cold blood um i think shift up is is a um korean developer and i just got that vibe because i watch a lot of korean cinema and i watch a lot of korean media um it, it unadulterates what i watch i even got my wife watching a lot of korean tv and and korean media uh, and uh, I got the vibes from the game, and I and when I've discovered that Shift Up was a Korean developer, I was like, oh man, because there's other Korean games that are on the forefront that just look awesome. And I, I told Cold Blood, uh, the co-host here on on M2K Gaming News, I told him that I'm all for the Korean takeover <laughs> when it comes to games. You know, I'm I'm, I'm all ready for that wave. So yeah, I, th this is a very innovative looking title. It does some very cool things um yeah shift up Let, let's get this together you know what i'm saying and, and take care of um this latency so no, no silly stuff is sitting there messing with how well this game is perceived and what its possibilities are okay the next thing i want to talk about is and i don't want to give too much light to this publicly cold blood and i plan to do some um members content talking about this more extensively but i just don't like giving too much light public light to these publications that are just trying to do shock and awe and trying to do clickbaity stuff but um this is an article that i'm getting from bounding into comics.com shout out to them and they say ig and francis france excuse me scrambles to backpedal after writing off stellar blade protagonist eve as a doll sexualized by someone who's never seen a woman um the article goes and says in the latest example of the western video game press having a chip on their shoulder when it comes to media created not just by japan but apparently an east asian nation ig in france has found themselves scrambling to defend themselves after writing off stellar blades lead protagonist eve despite being used entirely on the real world appearance of an actual female model of being more than sexualized fantasy of someone who has never seen a woman and i think in the article they go and they elaborate that this individual um uh, is married <laughs> you know what i'm saying and and just the whole thing like this was some adolescent teen in their grandma's basement that, that drew some over sexualized character um was over the top and it seems like now they're trying to backpedal from that here's my thought um and, and, and i know this can get touchy for people but you know cold blood and i you know with members and in, in, in the appropriate areas we we will touch further like i said earlier on on subjects like this um so definitely think about joining our membership uh group and so you can get um so you can be part of that content or you can hear that content here's my stance i'm all for groups looking to help developers who want to make content um for you know to 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 show the everyday people to show more everyday people okay fine not a problem you know what i'm saying like if you want to have a more simulated game to where you know an, an everyday neighbor is represented in the game as the main protagonist or hero whatever fine i don't care but when you try to influence or shame somebody because of the art portrayal that they have especially for a fantasy game i think that's when you're going beyond the bounds and you're trying to drag gaming into to, into somewhere where it doesn't belong you know what i'm saying um there is a political movement happening and people are trying to drag gaming into it and the people that are trying to drag gaming into it are those that feel like they got to go to different cultures and different places and they have to liberate <laughs> these cultures and show them the light because these people are too stupid to understand what they're doing look the actress that's involved here was all for it the artists were all for it which i'm feel are male and female the 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 community there is all for it. this is part of their culture because like i said i watch a lot of korean cinema th th this is part of their culture and they don't need you to hop on your high tail boat and tell them what is acceptable to them 
um, and, and for them. And then they want to take this opportunity to share their art with the Western world, which, like I said, I'm all for. Now, not everything that comes from there, you know, has people with dairy air like this. It, 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 it differs just like how things differ here. But again, I, I feel like a specific group who wants to say we are for empowering women. We want women to feel empowered. I don't understand why a woman who who said, look, I want to be part of this project because I know what this project is about, why her choice to help create this character like this is is a problem and also too which i find hypocritical is i thought we weren't into body shaming anybody uh, uh of any derriere or any or any type of body type so th there's actually women out here that look like this to quote unquote no fault of their own and they've constantly have to be looked at a certain way and, you know, and 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 looked at and 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 made ashamed of their body. Now you're the group that's supposed to defend against that is now doing that. They're now looking at a specific body type and they're saying, no, 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 that's not allowed in gaming, right? See, again, I am all for people saying, you know what, creators that want to spotlight certain groups in their gaming. You know, we, we want to help them, those that are already in the mindset of doing that. I'm, I'm all for there being groups and there being efforts to try to promote that. That that's I think that's fine. I think where it becomes a problem is where someone who has a specific artist's goal in mind, that being derailed by non-artists to fit some type of political agenda, a political agenda, regardless of what side it is doesn't belong in gaming you know what i mean and again i don't include in this those groups like i see people attacking um you know uh groups that are there to to help uh be a welcome mat to to black gamers or asian gamers or whatever I, that's outside of here and the people that are going that far i think they're going too far you know those groups are needed because there are specific types of gamers, trust me, and I know that once, you know, the the tone of your voice or something is picked up online, you are berated with all types of offensive stuff. So these groups are created so people have a welcoming place to go and play games with like-minded gamers, you know, and, and not feel like an oddity. Okay, that's different. I'm purely addressing those that want to disrupt the art and make gamers feel ashamed about enjoying a fantasy world or enjoying sci-fi or whatever like nobody's looking at kratos and saying you know what that dear damn kratos is looking too masculine uh put put a cooking apron on him with barbecue sauce over it and uh make him overweight and make sure that he's taking his uh, diabetes medicine every five minutes nobody's saying that so I, I think those with this political agenda need to fight that battle elsewhere, regardless of what side you're coming from. This is a great looking game with great looking game mechanics from a promising developer that looks like they're going to shake up the gaming world. This is everything that we need right now in gaming. Please take your political stuff to see CNN or, or Fox News. Get the hell out of here with that. OK, please. That's all I ask. With that said, that's it from your boy. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Uh, those links will lead you to Geeks, Hard Knock Digital Culture, MM2K Gaming, and Cloud Dosage. And again, join our members. Hit that join button so you can get more extensive conversation around this content. With that said, y'all have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.